I never know when he's recording, to be honest. All right, guys, my good buddy Mo here. We've been talking for a while. He's got a crazy collection of cars, <laughs> including this pista right here. This wild pista. I'm actually kind of scared to touch it because it's so wild. It's got like every option and spec you could possibly imagine. Beautiful color, carbon wheels, stealth carbon all around. You name it, it's got it. We're going to lower it on Novatech Springs. We're going to install a rift exhaust that he brought over. We had the rift exhaust sitting at our warehouse for what, over a month? More than that, yeah. More than a month. So we finally made it down to RDBLA to get the exhaust installed. The coolant in is right over there. Novitech springs, right? So we're going to drop it. Yep. Spacers, so we can space the wheels out. Yeah. The coolant in, the black badge wheels are cool, but we're going to switch them out with the RDBLA wheels. 24s, right? 24s. I would have done 26s, but you know, for me, 24s is perfect. What size tires are there? 35 or 30? You had 35s on it. So yeah. 35 RDBLA straight gangster wheels. So you'll <laughs> see the design. They have multiple designs. What is it? 50 spokes? Actually, yours is 45 spokes. 45 because spokes. Because it's not so the almost gangster. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna... Joe. <laughs> He's the one that's always hiding behind the camera here. Now I can come to LA with my limo tent. Just don't put it down. They'll think I'm like so LeBron James or something. Here, right? yeah. My cap is already black? Yeah. It's already black, right? That's what we're oh, and it's gloss. Correct. So, so that's gonna... why he didn't give me satin, because yeah. he didn't want to paint my cap. Yeah, it's less cost for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly why I did it. Oh, oh he's doing colonin of Novatech? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> he beat me again. Hey, don't get this on camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the Mo versus Mo car. <laughs> yeah, Mo versus Mo. Yep. Colon and Novatech? How much is that? A kid? 20, 30, 50. About 50. That's a little more. Like 10, 15 gram more. I would do I would do Mansory without a doubt though. I think I will do Mansory, but just uh, maybe like next week. 100 no. What do you want to do with the door handle? You could wrap it black or I could paint it gray. When you wrap it black gloss, can you ceramic coat it so it doesn't get like the swirls and the scratches in it? Yeah. I could even do a clear bra over it. Yeah, do that. That's cool. I hate I hate black gloss wrap because it always gets the swirls in it. I could paint it too if you want to be super gangster. <laughs> How much gangster? <laughs> Do I need a trip right here and fall and get a little discount? <laughs> I, you were never here. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know why black badge comes with that. They told me. They they told me. Well, it's because the wheel has no, silver on it. Why is that black then? The moldings and yeah, it makes no sense to me. It's so tacky right there. You want me to paint this? Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Just I don't make know if it. You're, I don't know if you're gangster enough for this. Just make it look like Manzuri, but not Manzuri. Oh okay. You know? yeah, so yeah, gotcha. paint this. So it looks. <laughs> can you paint a lip on here? Like, like a 3D paint job. Just put so a, it looks like put it? a piece of black vinyl so it looks like there's a lip. He goes up to everybody's Rolls Royce and just pulls the bumper off. <laughs> I don't do that. Oof. Yeah, titanium. Here you go, Joe. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of that plaque and put mo on it. <laughs> one of 18 you don't think that if somebody else number 19 wanted they want to make it bro don't film it they gave this <laughs> to me for free okay <laughs> lance is the first guy that ever sponsored me in my life he gave me he worked for ipe back then and he gave me an exhaust for my gtr lance uh gives a lot of people free stuff <laughs> I went through like four people to try to get free RDB wheels. It didn't work out, so I had to come uh, pay for them. Yeah, you can't get free RDB wheels. I asked Joe. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it looks so much better on YouTube. <laughs> Jesus, you know I have, two cars here, huh? <laughs> I, know, I have two of your cars here. I was watching this car on, on a YouTube video you made. Uh -huh. and, I, and I took a picture of my screen and I sent it in the middle of the night on uh, Instagram. And I said, how much you want for it? It's just, just a scene. <laughs> I remember that one. Mira, esto es una bestia, papá. La bestia, la pura cara de la Yurus. De la Yurus. Look at this. It's beautiful, huh? Oh! Oh! What the? Why? Why you do that? You made me touch glue. <laughs> You don't, you don't see what I'm doing, right? And you come and you just touch the stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> Solo agarra la cosa. Only take the things and, and you don't see yeah. what you do. Because you didn't show me you're sticking in my hand. Go on. Now, see, you get mad. Okay. So I, I turn it off the radio. Okay. I turn it off my cumbias because you. Beautiful like you, Vic. Hey, Vic. People say you're beautiful. I'm, I'm, I was about to put this in your hair. You're very lucky <laughs> I didn't do it. Nothing happened if you put them, see? Black hair? That's Black Bondo. Staff. <laughs> Come on! Your hair is entirely Bondo right now. So here we have my helper again. Um, 
putting the urus together. This is another wide body urus. You guys see this on ya almost. Casi almost done. You guys see this almost on every episode now. But I'm really excited about this one because it's going to be a very clean wide body urus. We're, we painted everything, the body color. This is sanded right now, getting buffed. So don't mind that. It's a work in progress. As you guys already know, we like to show you guys everything here, even if it looks bad or ugly, whatever. It's a car shop. It'll be cleaned up and buffed and all that. It has stock wheels on it right now. It's getting the wheels made and finished up. They should be here any day. It's actually going to be the same wheels on, on my car, but the black, just all black. Full 1016 Industries. This is the carbon fiber version of the kit. Looks really clean on this car. This car has like, you already guys know it had about 60 miles on it. So a brand new car, even before the owner took delivery of it, this is what it's getting done to it. We should have everything going by the next episode. It's a really, really nice Urus. All gloss black with the gloss carbon fiber on there. So super excited to show you guys the finale of this car. In my hand, I have a weird looking car spoiler. You guys can see it has all these lines in it, has this defect here, whatever. Simply because this was put together in the middle, it was two pieces. This is actually 3D printed. So this was entirely done in a printer. It is the first prototype wing for the F8, which is right here by 1016 Industries. We're not gonna put this on the car. However, if we wanted to, we could do some body work on it and smoothen it out, primer it, paint it, and actually install it. So. That might be the next wave in the future, we'll see. This is actually pretty cool. We're gonna kind of place it on the car to do test fitting before they make it in like carbon fiber, obviously. This is an overlay, so essentially for insulation, you're just literally gonna slip it on and glue it on there. So it actually fits really, really well already. So very, very nicely done. Obviously this junction has to be fixed, but it's just literally there for testing purposes. So. As you can see, that's the first ducktail that I've seen on an F8. More of the parts are being made for it actually right now. Sides, rear diffuser, front lip, all that stuff's being created. So we're gonna be able to put it on a car, the first one in the US with a body kit. So we're super excited for that. You guys saw this on the previous episode. We did the wrap and the gold wheels. We also did an exhaust system now. So it has a full straight pipe. We're gonna put a mic on there and take it out and have you guys hear this F8, how insane it sounds. So let's take it out. I'm in love. Hurry up, man. Man, for move one car, it will take all day. Jesus. It's perfect. Nothing to do. This is for lazy. Yeah, this, that's what I'm saying. This is for lazy people, you know? Perfect. Okay. Also, you don't have to do nothing over here. <laughs> This is gonna be one hell of a project. Beautiful kit by Mansory. Jeez, amazing. This is the full Novatech kit. They call it the Overdose. Mansory is also wide body, but it's very tame compared to this. This thing has extreme flares. It's about a two inch on each side wide body. That's significant for any SUV. It's almost, I mean, the Urus is, my Urus is wider, but this is crazy for a Cullinan, especially the back. The back end is super extreme. But yeah, we have the kit taped on right now just to check it out. We have a lot of bad experience with body kits. Anytime we get a body kit, wide bodies, we dread the fact that 
It's not gonna fit. We gotta check it out, how much work it's gonna need. But this one, honestly, pretty damn good. We have a few minor tweaks just to give it that RDB touch to make it fit perfectly. We're gonna be adding an LED light bar on the bottom. This kit doesn't have the option to come with this, so we're gonna do our own. We're gonna clean up some other things too. I'm gonna go crazy fitment on it as well. After all, when you do a wide body and you don't do the fitment right, honestly, you're better off not doing a wide body. So we're gonna make sure to max out the fitment. There's not gonna be a wrap. It's gonna be a completely body color paint job on the body kit. So it's gonna be super clean and black and just, it's gonna look menacing. The back bumper's off the car. This kit does not come with a back bumper. It comes with like a diffuser. So we took that off. We're gonna get that dialed in, put that back on too, but the rest of the kit is on. This is gonna be another world-class leading modified Rolls-Royce Cullinan by RDB. Novatech makes springs, don't they? You know what, Moses has a good point. You must be OG because Novatech was not known for body kits. They started their body kit program, uh, the wide body programs just a few years ago. So, especially on a Cullinan, you wouldn't expect Novatec, because Novatec was really well known for uh, Ferrari Lambo. So I I'm backing know. him up for once, basically. I thought it was Mantri. But Excuse me. Uh, yes, hey, how are you? Uh, where is the, the office? Yeah. He's the guy to talk to anyways. What do you guys need? Uh, <laughs> I have sure. a Camaro, and uh, I would like to know if you guys do a wrap. Yeah.